class. All those students have been using cell phones consistently in their daily lives for almost a decade. Schools continue to resist allowing the devices into the classroom. Schools generally grapple with new technologies, but the cell phone's reputation as a nuisance and a distraction has been hard to dislodge. Using information given below, prepare a speech in about 150 to 200 words. Approximately 150 to 200 words. This is directed writing. Points will be given and you will have to elaborate on those points in order to frame your speech. So many points are given so you will not find any difficulty. Greeting and address to the gathering. Start your speech by a greeting, a salutation and address the gathering. Possible good uses of cell phones, the non-educational uses of devices in school, how they can be a significant distraction for teachers and students, can be a potential tool for cheating in examinations and could encourage abuse of the device. Health hazards. So, in your speech, you will have to write the advantages of using cell phones as well as the disadvantages of using the cell phones. Guidelines have been provided, so follow the guidelines. The sequence will hardly matter. You may write one point before and other point at the end, so the presentation is up to you, but you must touch each discuss each and every point briefly and you may add one or two points of your own if required. On the other hand, BYOD, bring your own device, is gaining momentum as a learning tool. Learning can become paperless, thus environment friendly, can be cost effective. So the solution not in banning but in developing rules for how students physically handle the device in the class. Proper guidelines and check making students responsible for their actions and you will also have to write an ending statement at the end of your speech and always write thank you. Good morning everyone, respected principal, teachers and my dear friends. Greeting and address to the gathering. Today I am going to address a pertinent topic of social relevance. So since this is a speech, I'm going to address the gathering. I have written the introductory statement accordingly. I'm going to deal with a topic of social relevance. And what is that topic directly mentioned at the very beginning without beating around the bush? We live in a technologically advanced age where cell phones have become a constant presence not just in our social lives and family lives but also within our classrooms. This speech is about use of cell phones in the schools and classrooms. In the introduction itself, I have mentioned that I have understood the topic. You may also use a quote. It must not necessarily be a literary quote. You may give a proverb, an idiom, anything if you want, if you are comfortable with it. Otherwise, you may start like this. Next, cell phones in schools can help accelerate a student's learning by involving him in interactive I-N-T-E-R-A-C-T-I-V-E, -E, interactive classwork and making him an active participant. So, in the question, I was asked to give the possible good uses of cell phones. So, these are the advantages of using cell phones. Cell phones foster positive change, innovation, intuitive learning and group work. Use simple English. I am a teacher. I know a little more than you. So don't worry. Even if you don't use a little, a few difficult words, no problem. Make sure that you use the correct tense and write properly without making any spelling mistakes. This is a reference. Frame your speech by following this reference. See how I am writing, how I am developing one point after the other. Among the non-educational uses, cell phones allow students to document and build their memories and relationships. In the question, 
I was asked to mention the non-educational use of devices and here I have written that as briefly as possible because my word limit is approximately 150 to 200 words. And then the next paragraph. While writing a speech, always change paragraphs. Don't write in a single paragraph. They are a huge distraction. The word distraction was there in the question and the examiner will automatically realize that I have understood the question. These are the disadvantages of using cell phones at schools. They are a huge distraction for teachers and students who are addicted to social media. Cheating in exams, another point developed. Cheating in exams have become easier. Incidences of teen depression is on the rise. Health hazard, gaming, cyberbullying. So abuse of cell phone, cyberbullying and digital addiction cause mental health concerns. So I have clearly mentioned the disadvantages of cell phones. With BYOD, bring your own device, gaining momentum. I have picked up this section from the question itself. Learning can become paperless, cost effective, sharing is easy. This is my own point and the other points I have written it from the question itself and students can access additional information so sharing is easy access to additional information these two points are my own points and others I have used from the question so you will have to frame your answers very wisely be wise and just adapt and adjust your style and remember that English language is unseen everything is going to be unseen so take your time read the questions thoroughly and don't stress after this the solution so the solution is not in ban but developing school policies encouraging students to follow them and educating them about the importance of being mature and responsible. So in developing these, we can make the positives of bringing cell phones to school outweigh the disadvantages. And then, don't forget to write the ending statement. You are appealing to the audience. It is my earnest request that all of you should take into consideration what I have said and try to do your part. So you are directly connecting with your audience as you are developing, as you are delivering your speech. It is my earnest request that all of you should take into consideration what I have said and try to do your part. After all, it is our responsibility to make this world a better place for all and the future generations. Thank you. In the total English book, the thank you is on the right side. So if your teacher has asked you to write it on the left side, follow her. So follow whatever you have been taught at school. 